Hey everybody, uh, it's Sunday afternoon. A uh, whole lot different than this morning when I uh, did that video this morning. It was, the sun was out and it was uh, looking like it was going to be another hot sticky day. It was already, I think, in the 80s. We had some thunderstorms come through mid-morning and uh, some cool air blew in and cooled things down. I, was, I imagine it's probably in the I don't know, it cooled down into the 60s, I know that. I'm probably, it's mid-70s now. Uh, but a really nice day, although it's kind of cloudy. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to do uh, the first of these uh, beers. Uh, gifted to me by Andy yesterday when I was up at the Iowa uh, Craft Beer Festival. Uh, uh, it's one of those Nuclearis beers. Uh, it's one I haven't tried. <clears throat> I'm going to do their Black Top. That's their version of a Black IPA. Um, off the bottle on the website it says we invite you to discover this newest beer style black IPA political debate rages over the orange the origins of this jet black beer as both coasts feel they deserve deserve credit our black top is a pleasant road connecting villages and communities statewide on a ride of black IPA discovery expect this beer to pour a hop forward jet black glass brimming with aromatic bitterness bitterness brewmaster Dan skillfully weaves Molasses and chocolate malt undertones with a soaring rush of clean citrus and pine hop notes to deliver a drinkable black IPA. Savor black top like Wisconsin's miles of licorice ribbons of ink that meander through armies of corn and bovine mowed fields. Enjoy the journey on a road less traveled. Uh, like I said this morning when I was uh, showing the, the beers he gave me, there is nothing on the site or on the bottle that, that says the ABV. I, uh, I did check uh, Beer Advocate and Rate Beer, and they both said 6.9%, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, the New Glarus Black Top IPA, uh, Black IPA. Um, I'll tell you, New Glarus has the coolest caps. It's like a, the outline of the state of Wisconsin. I don't know if you can see that. Like it's done with a thumbprint. Just really nice. I've already got one of these caps in my collection, so won't have to worry about it, but... Uh, Let's get this uh, black top, black IPA in a, in a glass and see what we have. Okay, that's pretty much black. There's some, uh, some brown and some amber around the base, around the edges, but uh, pretty much back, uh, pretty much black. I've uh, got a Got a finger of a like a foamy tan head. Uh, pretty nice, decent looking for a black IPA. I mean, it fits the style, so let's get a nose on it. Oh wow, yeah, there's um, yeah, that smells good. There's um, there's pine, citrus, maybe a little uh, like candied orange, uh, grapefruit, really resiny, uh, really fresh hop smell. Uh, Got a nice uh, dark roast smell in there from the malts. Uh, really nice, uh, nice balance of uh, American hops and uh, dark malts. That's for sure. Smells like a really, really good uh, black IPA. I mean, this is a really, really, uh, really enticing smell. So, let me give it a taste. Okay, yeah, you got a mix of uh, pine and grapefruit, a little orange peel in there with the roasted malts, maybe just a, a hint of dark chocolate, a um, little bit of a uh, light, uh, like almost co cocoa sweetness in the end. Um, it's not as uh, it's not as uh, strong a flavor as um, you expect. The nose uh, leads you to expect, though. Um, it's a bit disappointing that way. It's um, the good flavors here, they're just not as strong as the, <clears throat> the nose would lead you to expect. Um, it's a light mouthfeel, um, almost watery, but a uh, decent amount of carbon. You can't really see what the carbonation is, but uh, you can see it a little bit around the edges. There's a good deal of carbonation streaming up, and there's a there's a lot of that, uh, that uh, carbonation tingle on the tongue. Um, just maybe just a slight bit of stickiness in the end, but... Uh, Overall, so far, the, the mouthfeel, although good, is um, 
like I said, not quite as uh, not quite as intense as uh, the nose would uh, at least led me to expect. So let me sit, sip on this a while, and uh, I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour. I gave this a good long time to to warm up as much as it'll warm up in this uh, in this weather. But uh, overall, this is a pretty decent um, black IPA. It's not. It's a good IPA. It's not a great IPA. Um, as it's warmed up, the mouthfeel uh, is not so not quite so watery now. It's still light. It's still a light mouthfeel. Um, but it's it's uh, the carbonation has died down, so it's it's not it feels a little thicker, almost uh, like a medium medium light mouthfeel, but uh, pretty decent mouthfeel. Uh, still not what I'm expecting. Uh, the the nose is still still you know a whole lot better than the, the than the than the taste. Uh, if this tasted as good as uh, the nose leads you to expect, I mean, this would probably be a 9.5 out of 10. Um, there's not the complexity. There, there's just not that mixture of uh, the, the hops and the malts that uh, that the nose leads you to expect. Um, the hops are good. Uh, there's just not, like I said, there's just not that that blending of, of the, the hops and the malts that, that you expect from a good black IPA. Um, definitely uh, nothing uh, nothing like the nose. I mean, uh, some slightly bitter, some nice earthy notes. Um, it's refreshing, that's for sure. It's just not, not real spectacular. So I'm going to give the New Glarus Black Top, Black IPA, good beer, not a great beer. I'm going to give it a solid uh, 8.5 out of 10, so until next time everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.